So we're gonna be attempting to climb Pikes Peak this year and we're gonna be doing it in an electric car. And I guess I wanna know what's such a big deal about going, going up Pikes Peak in an electric car? Yeah, so if I could kind of go fast forward in time, 10, 20 years out, I believe a lot of us are gonna look back at Pikes Peak as being one of the motorsports venues that helped establish the real performance potential of electric vehicles because of a couple factors. Number one is that it is a race at altitude. Just like you and I, if, if we're running at altitude, we get winded, we get lightheaded, and that's because of the lack of oxygen. Well, internal combustion motors, while they're not organisms, they're kind of like us. They need oxygen to be able to produce power. And so at Pikes Peak, as you're climbing at, from 9,000 feet up to 14,000 feet, there's a significant loss of power in an internal combustion vehicle, whereas an electric vehicle, while the battery is being depleted and you might have a little bit less energy at the end than you did at the beginning, meaning your actual power output, they still do not rely on oxygen to be able to survive. So it does give a very good competitive advantage. The other side is that with the vehicle climbing at higher altitudes, the air is thinner, which means that from a physics standpoint, a vehicle actually can attain higher speeds faster because there's less drag on the vehicle. So electric cars start getting this, uh, instead of a law of diminishing returns, it's actually a, a gain that occurs as they go up the mountain. Thanks for watching Electric Performance. Please subscribe, share, and hit the like button.